Hello everyone again, this is Paul Braswell, CEO and founder of Art, Health and Healing. Today's episode features another art, home and healing visit. Today I have Stacy. Stacy here has created with a lovely son, Liam, but you see over there eating his lunch. They created what is called an hand painting. Not finger painting, y'all. Hand painting. Click on that. If you like what you're doing, <laughs> click like, follow, and share. So, Miss Stacy, this is her first experience with exploring art as a form of education, health, and healing. Because art does have the power to heal. Miss Stacy, would you mind sharing with us your first experience with art so the audience can understand and feel what art can do for them, like it. So, um, I'm not a very artistic person. I liked art when I was a kid, but as an adult, I haven't really explored it. Um, but now having a little one of my own, I want to introduce him to all kinds of activities, especially art. Um, so this idea of bringing art in the home, and it's an activity that I can do with my child, and an activity that Mr. Braswell can also be with him has been an amazing experience. It was more than what I thought it would be. Um, Great. Thank you so much, Miss Stacy. Now, continue with our art education. They have two of them. This team, family team, has created that. It's not tied to that the mother has to process it. But what we're going to, what, they, what she's going to do, because the son is over there eating the good cereal, what she's going to do is enhance this art. Art enhancement. I'm familiar with that term because of my background and one of my favorite artists, Leroy Campbell, enhanced the neck bone family. But actually he invited me to his home. I fanned out. I was in awe. Leroy Campbell's work is phenomenal. And when I was purchasing it, you know, for, for my own collection, it was reasonable. Now, you know, you know. Go on, go, Google it, and you'll see. So, with that being said, Miss Stacy is provided with another medium to enhance this art that was created by her and her son. Now, Miss, explain to the audience what you learned as part of your education by this is our task. Because I educated her and her son about different types of mediums to be used to create art. So. Let's review what you've used today. So the mediums I've used today have been paint, paper, I've used canvas, we've also, he's also used a colored pencil, and now I'm about to um, enhance our picture with the medium of flower petals. And what, you like, and, what about the colors? And glue, and these are called, these colors are called, um, well, how do they make you feel? They make me feel good. They make me feel happy. They make yeah. me feel alive. Talk about happy colors. Happy we can give them that name, honey. Happy, happy colors. colors. Uh -huh. So, she's in the art. She's for her artist in the So, if you like what you see so far, please click like, share, and follow. All right. Okay? Thank you, guys. Yeah. You'll watch a few. Chocolate juice in there. I'm going to dip it just a little bit in the glue on the bottom. Uh huh. I'm going to place it. Yeah, I feel like I want to place it here. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, go ahead. Now, when you're purchasing your art materials to practice with, with you and your son, is there a certain type of material that you may want to look for? I mean, I like things that shine and sparkle. Oh, uh -huh. okay. And will this turn brown? No, this paper will not turn brown. Because? This is a, a particular type of paper that um, ages well and doesn't turn brown as it gets older. Oh, great! Mm -hmm. So she learns that the term is archival. Archival. <laughs> I don't know how fast it is. Sorry. But she does. Okay. I should have known. Oh, no. Oh, it was a part of the learning process. I will remember. And what we do at the next episode, we'll see. Uh huh. How well she does, or remember, and uh, we'll, you know, I'll provide a good test for her. Firm, of course. The only the winning score is knowledge. 
That is the winning score. Nick, let's show the audience what you've done so far. All right. Oh, you want to do a little more first? Or um, I don't want to add too many. Okay. I, I don't want to take away from the handprints because I love the handprints. See? Such a yeah. great, great. So let the audience know when you're done. Okay. And then so what we'll do is show you the image that yes. my mother created. So you want to hold it up? Yes. Close to the audience. Can see. Let me bring it closer. See? This is what she and her lovely two year old son created. And if you like what she created, please click like and follow. The next part of her education is signing it. Mm -hmm. So she's going to sign it and date it. Okay. I want to sign it and my son is left handed. So I think I'll sign out artwork from here on out. Oh, he's a lefty. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the lefty. Okay. So why don't she sign? It's a part of documentation of your artwork. Make sure your artwork is signed and dated for insurance purposes and appraisal and for estate purposes when value is assessed to the artwork. Okay, so she signed it. It's untitled at the present, but she Daddy, will be including Daddy. a title Daddy. at some point in time. So if you like what we did so far in this episode, please click like, follow, and share. I want to thank Miss Stacy for participating and the good lamb in the background. You see him over there in the corner eating every, eating the good lunch. So, thank you for joining us and please look forward. We look forward, I'm sorry. We look forward to seeing you again. Say farewell to everyone. Bye. 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 Say bye, Bye. 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 bye.